Good morning. This is Jerry3904 with a, another one of our Fluxbox videos. I'm using my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon uh, because I want to demonstrate a problem that shows up there and in lots of places. So uh, it's often the case that we find at least not just in MX21, which is I'm going to show, but also in other versions and on different machines, we find that the touchpad is really touchy. Uh, which is a weird thing, but and w what I want to show you is you, what you instantly find is you find the cursor jumping all over the screen and there's other kinds of problems that you can solve. So we're going to take a look at that and try to figure out what we can do about it. So here's the default desktop of MX Fluxbox, MX21 Fluxbox version. Um, this is uh, the second beta we're moving toward a uh, release candidate reasonably soon, but I thought I'd show it because that's what we're currently working with. I'm going to um, simplify the desktop a little bit. Let me get rid of the dock, uh, auto hide dock. There goes the dock. Uh, that helps a little bit. So um, I want to show what uh, how we deal with that in. Uh, the problems exist for the XFCE and KDE versions as well, but they have dedicated, uh, dedicated, um, dedicated uh, ways to deal with it. In XFCE 4, for instance, there's an entire setting for mouse and touchpad. It's very helpful. This is what it looks like. You have to first select the device. This one is for the mouse. But down here, a little lower, there's one of the touchpad itself. And this is the touchpad. And you would have selected on device, you select touchpad, whether to enable, etc., different kinds of, of uh, things that you have. And this behavior tab you can use as well to adjust it. So that's XFCE. KDE has a very simple, very sophisticated. Uh, uh, div uh, application. This is, I'm showing you the user base KDE, the t system set, the touchpad page. It's a very nicely done page. And they've split out various functions um, that you can deal with in detail. This is configuring how to tap, scrolling, pointer motion, sensitivity, and uh, enable or disable. So both KDE and XFCE, XFCE, XFCE have dedicated applications. Fluxbox does not, which is why I wanted to put this little uh, video together. But we do have a very handy item set up right in Settings Manager. I'll click on the wrench. I could, I could right click, click and do Settings Manager. I could get it from the, from the dock or I'll click the wrench on this particular Tint 2. Yeah, so here's the settings manager. I keep it kind of narrow. And you'll see right up here in the hardware section, there's touchpad indicator. Now, I already have it set up. So when I click it now, it's just going to reveal the icon down in the sys tray. So there's touchpad. There it is down there. And I'm going to close this to get it out of my face. And now I can right click that and go to preferences and I'll show you how I set that up. Um, this is the first tab actions, not really a tab, but actions and I have it set because I don't use the touchpad much, I have it set to disable um, uh, when the mouse is plugged in but also when when the touchpad indicator starts to disable the touchpad over here. Now I have it starting in the startup file so that in fact, what happens is as soon as I log in, the, the uh, touchpad is uh, disabled. And that's, that's the way I like it. You can do it your own way. This is just one way. So on the actions, I disable it when we start up. Now on general options, we don't use auto start because we're handling the automatic start in Fluxbox's startup file. But I imagine you could do it this way. I choose to have it start hidden so that the um, icon, I just revealed it, but the icon is normally hidden. You have it right here, you can hide the icon, which is nice because then it doesn't bother me. And I choose to have um, notification shown, so when I log in, I get a little notification up in the corner 
telling me the status of the uh, touchpad. In this case, it shows up and says, whenever I log in, it says the touchpad is disabled. So that's almost it. We're almost done here. Uh, you have, if you're going to be using it, then you have the ability to, to um, deal with smaller things. How fast can I do two finger scrolling? These kinds of situations are set here. Uh, this is the driver is Synaptics. Uh, and there is another driver available, I'll show you in one second, but this is how we deal with it mostly in, uh, mostly in Fluxpex. It's quite, quite simple that way. So uh, the other thing that you can do, let me hide this so it's normal state. This is how I, nor I, I usually never see that because it's set to be hidden when I log in. Um, the other way to do that is to go back to our uh, settings manager and click on the MX tweak. And there MX tweak, um, you can see under on the other tab that you have the option of uh, using a different driver, use live input driver for touchpad instead of synaptics touchpad driver. So you have the option of using that to see if that alone will make the touchpad work better for you. Uh, I, in, on this system, it didn't make any difference, so I don't use it, but that's another option. There is a very complicated option, which if, is to use the actual, uh, the actual configuration file for Synaptics, the uh, driver, and, uh, but that's kind of technical, and I won't try to show you that here, but you get subtleties that you can't otherwise get. Okay, so now you'll see if just to show you, I'll put my cursor down there and I'll run it with my finger on the tab. The cursor doesn't move. I will, um, I will go back to my settings, pop up the touchpad indicator icon so I can see it. Right click it, go to preferences. Oh, there's a naval touchpad right there, but Go to my preferences and I can say now enable the touchpad. I'd have to re, I think I'd have to, uh, I think I'd have to see, no, now you can see, now I can move it. Um, it's way up there, it's all around, there it is. That's one of the things, see how sensitive it is, I'd have to change it. So I'll disable it again. Hide icon. So that's it. Those are the ways you can deal with it by changing the driver. You can deal with it by using um, by using a touchpad indicator, which is very convenient. Or if you're really detailed, then you can actually run a web search on how to uh, how to change the actual configuration file itself. Take care. Let me know what you think. All done.